Welcome to Board Games with Neramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today of course with Draco and we are excited to try out this new format of videos where I sit down here in the corner and I have this green screen behind me that you cannot see obviously that's the whole point and so yeah by sitting down here I'll be able to show you guys and girls watching more of the actual videos that I'm talking about or the, the images from games that I'm talking about instead of just watching me and Draco all the time. You, you've done that a bunch already right? And this kind of video, the channel update, I do want to mention that uh, for some reason not that many people are watching these channel updates. Maybe they were a bit boring later, uh, earlier on. I can see that people don't like to just sit and watch a guy talking for 15 or 20 minutes. And I think this upgrade here could be interesting as well to see if, if more people like the video. And to those of you that are watching, you're my biggest fans, thank you so much. Please share the video with your friends. Let's see if we can get these views up on these channel updates and news. I think the format of these videos are really good. I, I in myself, I watch other channels when they have these monthly vlogs because it's a good way to catch up with like what, what new videos are there, um, what, what has been happening on the channel, what's coming in the future. And it's a good way to just go back and see, okay, so like this video, I might actually want to watch this playthrough. I haven't seen that that was released. Well, I get an update once a month to just look back and see what's happened. Any comments are appreciated down in the comment section. Tell me what you think is a good format for a monthly vlog and we can work it out together so that we can I can make something that people actually want to see. Anyhow, let's get started here. I have my channel page up. I will start by just, just going through the videos that were filmed since I last did this and just talk a little bit about them and show you a bit about them so that you can see what's been happening on the channel. So let's get started. Yeah, so the first video we're going to take a look at here is from just after Christmas when I did the uh, top 10 expansions of 2018. And um, yeah, it's a bit surrealistic to watch myself and sitting down here and all that. But <laughs> so anyhow, I went through the top 10 expansions. There was so many expansions released during 2018 that I really enjoyed and was really uh, impressed with. So this list wasn't that hard to do. It's the first year actually that I, I did this uh, kind of top 10 expansions list for a year because uh, 2017, I don't think I even played like 10 good expansions that I, that I really wanted to put on a list. But uh, during 2018, I played, I think, maybe 20 or something that was, was good. So just picked out 10 of those, my top 10 favorites, of course, put them in the list here. And so check that out if you haven't. Now let's go to the next one. And we're go just going to flip over here to, we have the Terraforming Mars Digital uh, on Steam. Um, I started playing this just when it came out in like November, I think it was. There was so many bugs, I wasn't really impressed with it, and I know a lot of people were upset about how, how sort of bad, it's in, what a bad state the game was in when it was released. I think it was in beta even at first. Um, but now it's, it's fine. I also, since this happened, this was uh, just before uh, New Year's Eve, I filmed this one. I filmed three more actually, so this, this, few, this four solo playthroughs, a uh, digital on the channel now. Uh, and also, just a few weeks ago, they released a draft variant. So now you can play multiplayer and draft, which is a, a really an improvement. Uh, playing multiplayer without draft, not that fun. Also, this is the base game. I'm so hoping that the expansions are going to come. I think it's going to take a little while. Uh, it doesn't seem like SWD Digital are really... They aren't really fast about this. Um, there's still some bugs that need to be fixed. Not that huge, though. Uh, there's like I think one car that I know of um, that sort of it, it is not working as it's intended, which which is a bit sad. So it it makes it too easy. I think it's the air brake uh, something it's called. Yeah, it's supposed to give you just some three heat and three credits back when you play the, an event card with the space tag. Now it gi it gives you that effect as long as you play a space tagged card, which is you know that's way too powerful. So uh, yeah. There's things to work on here, but I think it's really fun. And I really like just sitting down playing a solo playthrough without having to pull out the box, without having to do all that stuff. I do that anyhow as well sometimes. I do like playing solo with all the expansions. But just playing the base game, um, I get sort of addicted and just, you know, I can play, you know, two two games in an hour. Uh, yeah, I like it. And it's coming to uh, the tablets, Android and, and iOS as well in the, in the near future from what I heard. So that's going to be nice as well. And I mean, if you're 
sitting on the train on your way to work or whatever you can just play a fast game a solo game and the multiplayer game is fun as well because then you can play with friends that you, you uh, sort of live far away from and all that and i would love to play a multiplayer game with you guys watching uh just contact me on facebook or or um and so on and we'll, we'll figure something out so we can play against each other that would be fun i played the other day against uh bjorn one of the viewers uh that's been around the longest basically and uh, that was really fun we live on different sides of sweden so it's it's hard for us to meet up yeah so that was terraform mars digital and now let's head over to the next one so the next thing here was keyforge i started the keyforge top 10 lists um really hard for me to do and i have i mean keyforge only been out for like two months so it's hard to say it definitely these are the 10 best cards so it's more of a uh, these are 10 cards that i enjoy i like them i like what they do they do fun stuff in the game uh, these lists might change as we go of course but i really like the format here as well i'm, I'm happy about how i set this up um, this is when i started using the obs software and and using everything connected tr through the computer so i can do these little green screens and picture in picture and all that fun stuff which i think will improve the channel uh, as we go here so there's a bunch of these out. If you're interested in Keyforge, check them out. There's a whole playlist of top 10 lists for Keyforge. Then we went on here with uh, painting video. This is something new as well. We've been talking about this for a long time, me and Martin, but finally we got to it. So Martin's painting for, he was painting for like three hours in the studio here and I was, I was downstairs doing other stuff. And then I just helped him out a bit with the camera and all that. So he painted the promo first player markers for Terraform Mars, the Curiosity, the little rover that is actually right now in reality is driving around on Mars. That's really cool to think about. Um, and I think they came out really good. As you can see, the one in the middle there is, is completely painted and he painted the other two others here. And they will also show up in the next giveaway on the channel when we hit 3000 subscribers, uh, which I sort of suspect will happen in a month or so. Then we have uh, one of the things that you were going to be able to win there is going to be a painted uh, curiosity. So that's going to be awesome. So yeah, that, that was nice. And I hope that Marty will do more of these painting videos. We had a little poll on Facebook and people wanted to see Seven Continent painted. Uh, so we're going to get make sure that he, he uh, <laughs> he's going to do that as well uh, when you have the time for it. Then, as you can see, we also did Sight Digital, uh, another one of these digital on Steam games. I, I used to say that I didn't, I, I didn't really like board games in digital format. I'm like, I used to be one of those people saying that if I'm going to play a digital game, then I'd rather play something else. And I'll play board games with my friends in real life. But I must say that I did enjoy both Terraform Mars and Sight as a digital game. Uh, site the AI is pretty good actually um, I mean it works out so and it it's really smooth once you learn how to you know do all the actions and all that so it actually works out really nicely I, I can recommend that uh, if you like site as well I, I like site more this way than than the uh, tabletop version and then we had a video where I talked about top 25 games of 2018 that I had wanted to play that I haven't played yet and now I played a bunch of these actually since I did this video uh, but it was fun and it was the first video where I really did this um, you know being able to capture myself uh, in the corner there and at the same time uh, show you the board game geek side and uh, yeah I just love how, how I can do that now uh, all right so yeah I mean this there's a lot of game talks in this video talking through a lot of games and a few expansions there as well. So check that out if you haven't. Then we had the top list for Terraform Mars. So top five prelude was the first one out. And Draco did his tail whip there, of course. <laughs> and yeah, so this is this is fun. Uh, this is something I, I done before, uh, like more than a year ago. I did a bunch of these with like top five green cards, top five action cards, top five uh, effect cards. And now I'm it was time to go back to them but do it in a more nicely looking fashion with the prelude and uh, later on here i also did for uh, colonies and for uh what was it top five corporation was the last one uh just came out a few days ago um then i also did an expansion talk through this is something i've been wanting to do for a while now because a lot of people have been asking me like which expansion should i get first uh which expansion is the best one in this video, I talk about through the four expansions released so far. 
Um, and to speaking of that, I'm really excited for the next one coming, Turmoil, as it's called, it's coming here in 2019, probably to Essen, I would expect. And yeah, uh, from what I heard, I haven't tried it out yet, but from what I heard from people that have tried out the prototype, it's, it's, uh, it's very different. It's really changing up the game a lot. And we'll see if I enjoy that or not. I mean, I like the game as it is right now. If it changes a lot, maybe I won't enjoy that. We'll see. Uh, I think I will be able to try it out here in two months at GotCon. I will meet up uh, there with the Frix brothers. They will be there. And I hope that I get a chance to try out Turmoil and, and make an interview with them and so on as well. That's going to be fun. Yeah, so Terraform Remorse expansions. Then we move on here to uh, Wingspan. That was released the first game of 2019 that I played and, and filmed and so on. The only game, I think, from 2019 that I played. Um, well, Wingspan is fun. It's uh, A lot of people compared it to Terraform Remorse because it's an engine builder with these birds come from Stonemaier Games and um, a friend uh, did the pre-order from Stonemaier so he got it really early and I, I was man I managed to to borrow it from him and do an unboxing a run through as you can see here with Draco uh, how was the Draco people over there whatever yeah, that is and also I did a solo playthrough as well a full solo playthrough so you can check that out if you are interested in seeing how Wingspan works in different ways two player or solo Really, really lovely game in many ways. There's a few things I don't really like. There's a bit of luck involved with rolling dice, and I'm not a big fan of that. But, I mean, it's beautiful, the components are amazing, and it's a fun gameplay anyhow. So, um, yeah, it's not a heavy Euro, and, and, you know, you don't need heavy Euros all the time. Uh, okay, so let's move on to... Well, have, here we have the Ter Terraform Mars Top 5 Colonies, where I talk about the colony tiles which are my favorites and so on um, I already mentioned that so we go on here to Game of Thrones the board game Mother of Dragons unboxing and you know someone's excited for that as you can imagine uh, <laughs> it was really cool uh, I'm really interested in playing this I, I hope that I can do it soon uh, I like Game of Thrones the board game in some ways the downside I think in the base game was that you had to be six players to make you know usage of the game fully and there was these situations where you could sit it takes a long time it takes like a whole evening like five six hours and sometimes and you could end up in a situation where you know after two hours you know that you're not going to win because you're cornered and you can't expand and all that and then you have to sit there it's, it's almost worse than player elimination because you can't even go and do something else you're still in the game but i think with this mother of dragon expansion they fixed a lot of things uh, you can play it on three players and everybody controls like two houses because you have a vassal. Really interesting. Um, check out the unboxing if you want to see more of it because I think this could be really fun. I'm eager to play this. I hope that I can do that soon. Then we had Hero Realms as a two-player playthrough together with Martin. And this was fun because this was my first time trying out two cameras. I got myself another camera. So as you can see the little uh, square where we can see Martin's cards. I think that works really nicely. I'm really happy about how this video turned out. I'm going to keep doing this in other videos. I mean, by myself as well, I could have a camera over from top as an overview, and then I could have my normal camera when I do some playthroughs and so on. I'm going to experiment a bit with that. I have so many things I want to try out here in the studio in the future. I think this worked out really well, and, and it was fun to do a playthrough of Hero Realms. And both me and Martin really love this game. It's been a while since we played it, so it was fun to pull it out and do a uh, live playthrough and I also did a bunch of live streams lately which I hope you enjoy I think it's really fun because I can get this direct connection with you watching you can tell me in the chat uh, things that I should be doing in the game you can ask me questions and all that which I really enjoy so yeah here around that was a fun one uh, we'll keep on doing these types of videos uh, then we had an unboxing of one week ultimate werewolf this is a game that I am also really let's see we can go from the start here you can see Luna is here as well with Draco. And this is a game that I'm really excited to play as well. I will play this at DracoCon. I will uh, try to get people together to play it. Because I like Werewolf, the whole idea of trying, you know, social deduction, trying to figure out who is the werewolf, who is the villagers. Uh, then you have to vote on who to kill. And this is a uh, one week, so it's over seven sort of days or steps. And I, I really like how they intervene this with the Cosmic Ludwig as well, the theme, 
because we're going around in the castle of Madkin Lagerbrink and some of us are werewolves of course and we're trying to figure out who is who. So <laughs> yeah, this is something that looks really cool and um, let's see, yeah, I, 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 I'm going to play this soon and I'll do, we'll do some kind of um, some kind of playthrough as well, it's hard to do a playthrough of that kind of game but I'll try. Then we had Gugong, a gameplay run through. Uh, Gugong is a really lovely game. It's This is the deluxe version that I borrowed from Matt's and it looks awesome, all the components and everything, but the gameplay is great no matter what uh, retail or deluxe from Kickstarter. So the gameplay is really fun. It's sort of worker placement, but you're instead of, instead of like placing workers, you have these cards, as you can see, you trade them with the board. So you're sort of trading with, the, with other cards you're trying to get in bonus actions and scoring points and all that. And if you want to, you know, check out the video if you want to see it more. Really, uh, really enjoy Gugong. It was on my top 10 list of uh, last year's games, 2018. And then I played The Quarks of Quendlinburg. This is something that should have been on my top 10 of last year if I had played it before I made that list. Because this is so good, so fun. It's a totally luck-driven, um, push-your-luck game where you're trying to uh, keep going and get as much out of e every turn, but if you go too far, then you might blow up and you don't get that much anyhow. Really fun game, uh, really lovely how they made these components, this little pot that you're sort of stirring in and you're making these crazy potions to sell or so. Yeah, I really, really enjoy this one. And this is a solo variant that I found on Board Game Geek. This game is from two to four players normally, but. I tried out the solo variant and I thought I have to make a film of this because it's so fun. So I can really recommend it if you have this game or if you're thinking about picking it up then check out that solo playthrough and the solo variant as well. The link is in there to the, the, um, the rules for the really easy stuff. Then we have, well, top 5 corporations for Terraform Mars and I did play another digital game on Steam, The Lords of Waterdeep. This is a uh, sort of classic worker placement gateway stylish game. Um, it's, it's, I think it's like six or seven years old or even more maybe. Um, uh, in the board game and then the, the digital version is like four years old or something. And I haven't played this, this is a base game. You can pick up the, you can buy the, on Steam you can sort of add on and buy the expansions as well. And I really like this, uh, what's it called? Like the corruption thingy, skull port something. I really like that one in the board game, but uh, so I might pick it up for this as well. I think it works nicely. Just play this against the AI, which works fine. Uh, it's it's a fun game. It's it's a really basic. Gather resources and use those resources to complete quests to get points, and then you just keep doing that for all these rounds. But uh, I, one thing I really like in this game is that you can actually build buildings so that you get new worker placement spots, and when people visit your buildings, you get a bonus. So, so I think this might have in, uh, sort of inspired the colony expansion for Terraform Mars, actually, because it's. It reminds me a lot of that, uh, but in the other order, of course, because this came out first. So let's see. Uh, we have a few more here. We have the Terraforming Mars Co-op variant. A lot of Terraforming Mars, of course, as usual on the channel. This is something I've been working on for a while as well. I've been trying it out with friends. This is a two-player co-op variant that I made myself. I put it on uh, Board Game Geek as well. So there's a of, sort of, not official, unofficial variant of the game where you basically play double solo, that's what you're doing. Um, but you can help each other out and you play on two boards and you can interact with both boards and you can sort of make a plan together on who should be doing what uh, because you have of course two different corporations so one of you might be good at raising the temperature then maybe that player should be focusing on that. Uh, really fun stuff and I know that there's some people out there that don't want to play two player uh, Terraform Remorse maybe with, with, with your partner and so on because it might you know, be too aggressive with the asteroids or, or it might be you don't want to compete against each other when you're sitting down to have a, a nice game at the evening. Well, you can play this co variant instead uh, so you can enjoy Terraform more for the wonderful game it is but you can do it in, in a setting where you're not competing against each other. So I'm, I'm really happy about how this turned out and it's not finished. I mean, there's tweaks to be made and I'm also asking the people that if you try this out, you should tell me how it went and if you, you figure out something that might need to be tweaked. Then this is just from a few days ago when I did um, 18 games unboxing live. <laughs> That's something new for me as well. But I have so many games, a bunch of small boxes and games I haven't really heard much about. But I, I picked them up at Essen and that's like three months ago. Uh, three months ago, it's just so weird the time flies. It's already been three months since Essen Spiel. 
uh, but it's time to just get these to the table and, and try them out. Uh, so I started out here with the unboxings. Uh, this weekend coming up, I will do another one when I do another 18 games because I have a bunch of them sitting here on my uh, in shrink in, in box on my shelf in bags out in you know all over the house there's games so i need to start just uh, unbox a lot of them and start trying them out so this was fun a bunch of people was in the live chat and we had a nice discussion there as well uh, a lot of fun questions and so on so yeah that was fun check that out this upcoming weekend as well i will post uh, post something about it like two, one or two days beforehand so you know when the live stream is coming and I, 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 yeah, really fun format. I really like, enjoyed it myself. Then finally, we have the Chronicles of Crime that I did a live playthrough of two days ago. And this is a game where you use your phone, as you can see, and you scan these cards. And you're trying to figure out the murder, sort of who did it and how and why. <laughs> it's really fun. It's really cool how they made this. And you also use your phone to watch the crime scene where you're in VR, you're moving around the phone and you can try to spot clues and so on. Really lovely game, uh, it's a co-op game, it's really not meant for solo play I think because you want to discuss with someone and, and figure it out together. Uh, but it works as a solo game and uh, it was nice to be able to show you that in the live playthrough here. So check that out as well if you haven't. And then we are going to talk a bit about games coming up on the channel and what's, uh, what's to come. Okay, so now let's talk a bit about the games that I've been playing this last month um, and what I thought about them and so on. So first of all, I played Trollfjord, which was released at Essen um, here, so it's, it's a new game. And this is something really weird. Uh, and I don't know how to describe it. Um, <laughs> you, you have, as you can see on this image here, you have a little uh, wooden hammer of sorts and a wooden tower with wooden cubes in it. And as you do some area control out here on the board with your trolls and you try to have, you know, the dominance over an area because then you get to hit the tower with the hammer and then cubes come out as you hit it. And depending on which cubes that come out or sort of how many and so on, which color they it's sort of a push your luck thingy, then you might score points. And it's just so weird. It's sort of some dexterity game and, so, and all of that. I was really bad hitting the tower as well <laughs> with the hammer. I know some people are going to enjoy this. Uh, there's some good parts in this game for sure, but I, I gave it a really low score. I think I gave it a four or a five. I'm not going to play it again. But yeah, it was fun to try it out. So Troll Fjord. Yeah, weird, weird stuff. Uh, then I played Magna Storm, which was a lot better. Magna Storm is uh, from Foyland Games. And this um, is something that is coming on the channel as well. I'm going to do a run-through of this. I uh, really enjoyed Magna Storm in the first impression because this is all first impressions, right? I only played it once. Sort of, it, but it's all about area control. Uh, but you do it on a map, like a really nice map. And you have these really cool little turtle uh, labs that you place out on the map. And there's storms on this planet, so you have to keep moving all the time and being ha staying ahead of the storm and trying to produce sort of things on the map by your turtles and then you use these resources, resource cubes, different colors to build new turtles and to score objectives and get points that way and it's a race game in the sense that uh, there's no set amount of rounds it ends when someone reaches a certain score depending on how many players you are I think yeah I think this one is a nice one um, I really like the it's the same kind of plastic here that was in Gaia Project, really like that. So uh, Magna Storm, cool stuff. Then I played Orbis, which was a fun, uh, sort of for me, a, a not a filler, but like an hour game. And you can play with basically anyone. But there was some tricky decisions here as well, and some strategy involved. You have to figure out how to build your pyramid of tiles. And the sad thing is I did a, f I did a full run through of this with Draco. We had really fun doing it. And then I messed it up when I for some reason I emptied my camera because it was getting full and I didn't realize that I hadn't transferred the Orbis videos to the computers. <sighs> yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and do another run through of this so that you guys can see how it plays as well. Really nice stuff uh, actually uh, for this small type of game. I'd much rather play this than Splendor or, or Century Spice Road and so on. It's in, in, it's, for me it's in the same category somehow. Then I played Architects of the West Kingdom which I really enjoyed as well, even though that game takes, that's, that was weird. It was a game where you could 
I spent most of the game just going around and kidnapping the other players' workers, which was really fun. But I, I came in last place. I didn't really score me much points. So yeah, I need to play that again and figure out some, some sort of strategy on how to actually make points in this game. But it's a worker placement game where you have a lot of workers and you lose workers sort of as you go, which is an interesting take on worker placement. And I really like the artwork and all that. Uh, like the Raiders of the North Sea as well, the, the previous series where they had three games of, of the North Sea and now this is the first in the West Kingdom series. So the next one to come is Paladins, which seems really cool as well, coming out later this year. Uh, then I played Skylands, new game as well, also released at Essen. And this was a bit of a surprise. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did. I really liked this one. Uh, also in that uh, sort of 45 minute category, um, somewhat similar to Orbits maybe, I don't know. But re this little game where you place tiles on your board to form sort of uh, these landscapes of cities and so on, areas where you have put uh, cubes or meeples and then you pull them off to score points. Um, and it's it has this uh, Puerto Rico uh, mechanism where I choose an action and then everybody at the table gets to do that action but I get to do it a little bit better than the other ones. Really liked that one, like it in Rising Sun. It worked out fine in this game as well so Skylands is something I can recommend. And then I also want to mention the Stockholm Tabletop Game Expo that is coming up here in May. It's going to be a sort of a mini SN uh, sort of affair and it's going to be you can sell your old board games you can pick up you, you know at good prices you can buy uh, second hand board games there's going to be a lot of different stores showing up and events and so on really nice stuff for two days and they have an, a kickstarter out so you can buy your ticket for the fair already by backing the kickstarter you get a good price as well so if you check that out on kickstarter the stockholm tabletop game expo uh, it's going to be so much fun. Me and Draco will be there together with Jonas from Breads with Podden. We're going to be on the stage. We're going to be conference here. So Draco will have to put up, uh, put on a little suit, I guess. <laughs> We're going to have some, you know, panel discussions about game design. Uh, Rustan Håkansson, who made the Nations, is going to be there. Maybe some of the Frixelius brothers. It's going to be really fun. And don't miss it if you're nearby Stockholm in uh, uh, in May there. Uh, May 11 and 12. Uh, you should really come and visit the Stockholm Tabletop Expo. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. And then let's talk a bit about what's coming up on the channel. So we're going to have um, DracoCon, of course. DracoCon, the third one, coming here 9th of February uh, in just 10 days or so. And I'm really excited for this. This It's going to be so much fun. Uh, uh, I think like 20, 30 people will show up and we'll play games all day and uh, have fun. We'll have a, a little uh, quiz about uh, the channel and about board games as well. People will, uh, will, will be able to win some nice prizes from Enigma, Asmodee Nordic, and from Alora Games and so on. Uh, so yeah, if you're in Trollhättan or nearby, be sure to join us February 9th. Um, and we start at 11 a.m. Uh, you can find all the information here on my Facebook page as well. And it's in, in Swedish, of course, here, all the information, but you're welcome anyhow. I mean, if, just contact me if you, for some reason, are in the, in the near vicinity here of, of uh, the Western Sweden part at that date, and you don't understand Swedish, then we can work it out. Uh, then, at the end of February, we're going to, I'm, we, me and Draco, are going to go to Calcon for the second year, and we're going to be in the jury for the Swedish uh, Championship of Board Game Design. So people with um, design, board game designs, they made uh, prototypes and so on. They will show up and compete. And there's a jury where we will be uh, attending together with I think some of the uh, one, of, I think some of the Frixelius brothers and uh, Konrad Dargo, uh, the other YouTuber from Sweden, and a bunch of nice people. And we will play games all day and figure out which one we like the most, and that one will win some nice prizes and so on. So that's going to be really fun at Calcon in Kalmar in the east part of Sweden. We're going to drive over there and hopefully the weather won't be that bad. Right now here in Sweden it's really snowy. It's so many, so much snow and it's like minus 10 degrees Celsius. I don't even want to go outside. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's sort of it for this uh, channel update in news for January. We'll be back in at the end of February 
after Calcon, we'll be back with another one of these videos. And as I mentioned, please share this video with your friends. You can down here, you know, you can click the share button and you can share it on your social media or send a link to a friend and so on. And don't forget to like the video as well. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for all the support for the channel. I so look forward to just keep going here in 2019, just to make good videos, increased quality and, and do fun videos for you guys to watch. Thank you so much and have a great evening, morning, whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye. Be like Draco. Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.